So the Galaxy S25 Ultra is packed with features, and just when you think you've discovered them all, there's more. In this video, I'm revealing seven more powerful features that most users overlook, the kind that quietly transforms how you use your phone every single day. So from making your interface cleaner to unlocking your phone smarter, this is the next level Samsung power you need to see. So let's get into it. So feature number one is where you can get free data storage for your videos on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So the Samsung S25 Ultra lets you access the cloud-based video storage at no extra cost. And that cloud storage is called YouTube. So this cloud storage allows you to store high resolution videos in the cloud automatically, keeping them secure and easily accessible from any device. So whether you're shooting a 4K or 8K video, your content doesn't have to be limited by physical storage. So let me show you how you can use YouTube to store all of these videos. So here, when I go into gallery and I go into videos, as you can see, I have so many videos here and I want to go ahead and store these videos. I don't want to lose them. So in order to do this, I can go ahead and open up my YouTube studio. I can go ahead and create a YouTube account. Here I have a YouTube account. Now here I can go ahead and tap on the plus sign and I can go ahead and post all these videos. So I can go ahead and upload all of these videos onto my YouTube. And now I can go ahead and make the visibility as private or unlisted. So unlisted will basically allow anyone with a link to view that video or private is only people you choose who can view this video and yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and choose private. So only I can see them. Next, I'll go ahead and tap on upload short. And here that video will be uploaded to my YouTube account. So here you can basically record freely without worrying about space. You can reduce the reliance on SD cards or external drives or the storage on your Samsung S25 Ultra. And you have a peace of mind knowing your memories are backed up safe and sound on YouTube. Feature number two is where you can quickly organize your home screen. So this feature gives you more advanced ways to manage your home screen layout by allowing you to select multiple app icons and simultaneously quickly organizing it in one go. So instead of moving one app at a time, you can go ahead and batch organize everything. So let me show you how to do this. So here's an example. I have one on my page where I have all my icons scattered around. Now, of course, you can go ahead and organize them all one by one. However, there is a way where you can basically select everything and organize it all at once. So I'll go ahead and select one, tap on select, go ahead and select these icons. Now I'll go ahead and grab the first one. I'll go ahead and shake it. So this will basically group them all at once. Now I can go ahead and choose if I want to line them up all at the top here, or I can go ahead and line up at the bottom. So I want to go ahead and create a nice line at the top. So I'll go ahead and I'll leave my hands. So now, as you can see, I've dropped it at the bottom here, and this has basically taken all those scattered icons and they've basically grouped them in a very organized way at the bottom of my home screen here. So it basically provides a quick large scale organization of your apps. It's ideal for users who like to keep a clean, efficient in interface, especially after downloading multiple apps or games on their phone. So basically you can go ahead and just choose your apps and you go ahead and drop it at the bottom. And this will quickly organize your icons. Feature number three is where you can add multiple fingerprints to improve unlock accuracy. So as you can see, if I use my left hand, it unlocks my phone. If I use my right hand, it basically unlocks my phone. So by allowing the registration of multiple fingerprints, your Samsung S25 Ultra ensures that your device responds consistently and accurately, no matter which finger you use or how you're holding the phone. So this isn't just a convenience feature, it's a biometric safeguard that enhances how responsive and reliable your fingerprint sensor becomes. So let me show you how you can register multiple fingerprints to improve the unlock accuracy on your phone. So in order to do this, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. From here, find screen lock and biometrics. Enter your pin number. Now go ahead and tap on fingerprints. And here you can go ahead and add your fingerprints. So I would highly suggest add your left thumb or your right thumb and go ahead and 
play around with it. So here I've already added it, but let's go ahead and add another fingerprint registration. Try to hold the phone in your hand and try to do this. So this basically gives a better accuracy of unlocking your device and registering that fingerprint. So now, as you can see, we have registered four fingerprints. So now when we go ahead and lock our device, wake it up, we can go ahead and unlock it. And this basically improves the accuracy of your unlock. So you'll get faster and more consistent unlocking and reduce frustration caused by failed fingerprint reads, especially when your hands are wet, oily, or in motion. Feature number four is where you can unlock your phone to open a specific app using your fingerprint. So this feature allows you to assign different fingerprints to a different task. So specifically launching designated apps directly upon unlocking. So it turns your fingerprint sensor into a shortcut system, transforming how you interact with the phone right from the lock screen. So let me show you how to do this. So here's an example. I want to go ahead and use my index finger. When I unlock it, I want to go ahead and open up Amazon shopping app. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, go into settings, scroll down and find lock screen and AOD, tap on screen lock and biometrics, enter in my pin number. Next, I'll tap on fingerprints. And here I want to go ahead and register my index finger. So as you can see, currently all my fingerprints are full. So I can go ahead and choose one. You can remove this for now and tap on add. And I'll go ahead and register my index finger. So now that's registered, tap done. I'll go ahead and rename this to index. Now I can go ahead and tap on home. Now I'll go ahead and open up the modes and routine app. Go ahead and tap on routine, tap on the plus sign, and then I'll go ahead and use the if statement. So if I unlock with fingerprint, so my index finger, I want to go ahead and open an app. So in the then statement, I'll go ahead and search for an app. Oops. Open app or do an application action. And then here I want to go ahead and choose Amazon application. So here I'm open Amazon shopping, tap done. You can go ahead and choose other actions as well related to Amazon. So you can do a search orders, cart or deals. However, I just want to go ahead and open up Amazon app, save it, give it a name and then done. And then go ahead and now lock my device. Now, when I go ahead and unlock it with my fingerprint, with the index finger, especially, as you can see, Amazon will open up here. So it gives you instant access to key apps like camera, notes, or WhatsApp the moment you unlock, saving time and reducing the need to swipe or search. Feature number five is where you can have automatic wallpaper change each time you wake up your device. So as you can see, every time I wake up my device, I have a new wallpaper on my lock screen. So this feature is called the dynamic feature. So this feature keeps your phone visually fresh by automatically rotating through a curated set of wallpapers every time you wake up your device. So the transitions are smooth and the image often adapt to your mode, light or dark mode or time of the day. It turns your lock screen or home screen into a dynamic, ever-changing canvas. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So to turn on this feature called dynamic wallpaper, you want to go ahead and long press on your home screen, tap on wallpaper in style. Now tap on change wallpapers. Now here you want to go ahead and scroll down and find wallpaper service. And just below that, you'll see dynamic lock screen. Tap on this. Now here you can go ahead and choose from all of these different categories. So this keep things fresh with different image each time you turn on your screen, new image every two weeks, and you can basically choose up to five categories. So you can choose categories from landscape, plants, life, dog, cats, animals, art, food, desserts, and special. And down below here, you can go ahead and choose if you want to use your mobile data and if you want to auto update your wallpaper library. So go ahead and choose your category. So I've chosen dogs, art, food, and special. We'll go ahead and choose one more and then go and tap home. Now, every time you lock your device, you wake it up, you'll see that a new wallpaper will appear up here. So you enjoy a visually refreshing and a personalized experience every time you pick up your phone, no more getting bored with the same look on your lock screen. Feature number six is where you can remove the dock bar on your Samsung S25 Ultra home screen. So the dock bar is a fixed row of icons at the bottom of your screen right here. 
but not everyone wants it there. So this feature allows you to remove it entirely, freeing up the space for widgets or giving your layout a cleaner and more minimalistic look. So especially appealing if you use gesture navigation or you prefer a distraction free UI. So let me show you how to remove this dock bar here on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Home Up module. Go ahead and tap on Home screen. Now go ahead and scroll down and find Show Favorites. So here you can basically disable the favorites. So if you want to use larger screen, go ahead and turn this feature off. Then when you press Home, you'll see that it has now disappeared and you have more space to have your icons or have your widgets anywhere here at the bottom of the screen. So this is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. So your home screen becomes more customizable and visually open. So it's ideal for users who prioritize design, simplicity, and non-traditional layout. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can turn on split screen view for any app on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So the split screen view allows you to run two apps side by side on your Samsung S25 Ultra's large display. So whether you're watching a video while replying to a message or browsing the web while taking notes, this feature maximizes the power of your screen size and multitasking capabilities. So here is an example. Let's go ahead and open up YouTube. So in YouTube, I'm basically learning something about the eye here. So the eye anatomy in three minutes. So here I want to go ahead and take notes on the eye itself. So in order to do this, I can go ahead and run this in split screen mode. So I can go ahead and play the video here at the top. And at the bottom here, I can go ahead and take my notes. So we'll go ahead and open up Samsung Notes. We'll go ahead and create a new note. And now, as you can see, I don't want to go ahead and switch between these two apps and take my notes. I want to go ahead and start it in split screen mode. So in order to do this, I can go ahead and tap on this task changer here, go ahead and tap on YouTube, and then go ahead and tap on open in split screen view. Now here, this will basically open it in at the top here. Next, I want to go ahead and choose the Notes app to open it right here at the bottom. So now, as you can see, our note has been opened here. I can go ahead and play this in full screen, press play, and then using my S Pen, I can go ahead and create my notes. So as the video is being played, I can go ahead and make all my notes. I can go ahead and rewind, fast forward, and see what I've missed. And this way, basically, I can make all my notes. So this gives you a desktop-like multitasking on your phone. It is basically improving your productivity and you basically make full use of your Ultra's massive screen real estate. So these seven features might not be flashy, but they make a real difference in how smooth, smart, and enjoyable your S25 Ultra experience becomes. So if you learned something new today, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to this channel for more hidden tips, and drop a comment telling me which feature you'll be using first, or if there's one I should cover next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.